Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you have not already, it would be fantastic if you click that button and subscribe to our channel and join us. On the menu today, and as you can see right there, just finished this, we're making our pasta sauce, a very cheesy, creamy mushroom sauce. Absolutely wonderful. I'm using today Parmesan, Mascarpone and Ricotta. You don't have to use any of them, quite frankly. You could actually do this with a straight kind of Philadelphia cream cheese. It will work really well. Touch of garlic, bit of onion, of course our mushrooms. Some fresh basil in there. It's absolutely wonderful. Works well with any pasta. As you can see right there, I'm using gnocchi. But go ahead and use any pasta you like. Let's stop talking. Let's go and do it. So let's get started on this. I've got a pan here. Little touch of oil, and I'm using a sunflower oil, but go for any oil you like. Olive oil might be nice. I'm going to start off with some onions. In they go. As does some fresh garlic. So I've got a kind of small onion there, and about three or four cloves of garlic. I'm going to add a little touch of salt now. Now, let's only add a little bit because. Depending on the cheese you're going to add, it could get quite salty this. Some black pepper. And then today I'm going to go with a little bit of dried basil or basil. But of course you could if you want. Use an oregano or you know, the list goes on and on of which dried herb you could use, doesn't it? Going to be adding some fresh basil to this as well which by the way is a completely different taste. I mean dried, dried basil and fresh basil, so very different indeed. So, as that's going on, let's get in our mushrooms. Now I've got a kind of white mushroom I'm using here which I've sliced nice and thin. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna just sort of stir fry these around in here for about three to four minutes. We're on a kind of medium heat. I'll be back then. As you can see, our mushrooms are cooking down beautifully. Now at this stage, and here we go, we're gonna add some single cream. This is a fresh single cream. Absolutely wonderful. Now the heat is still on. I've got here a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese, just a little bit. Here I have some ricotta, which I'm going to put in. And I'm also going to add some mascarpone. Now, you could, you know, if you don't have ricotta, don't use it. You could just use the mascarpone. And if you don't have mascarpone, just go for a, a cream cheese, like a Philadelphia or something. That will actually work. Simply, we're going to mix this in. We're going to cook this for about another three minutes. What's going to happen, or what I hope is going to happen, is that cheese is going to break down melt in there and actually help thicken the cream to make a beautiful sauce. I'll be back in about three or four minutes. Keep stirring. Okay, let's get a little bit more salt in there to taste. Now, I've, I know that this sauce is going to be absolutely wonderful. I mean, it's like an instant kind of bechamel. None of that flour cooking and all that in there. This is just a beautiful, creamy, Pretty instant cheesy sauce, which is wonderful for pasta. Only one more thing to do. I'm going to just finish this off with some fresh basil. And that's it, guys. There's your, your sauce done. Add as many cheeses as you like. Or as, you know, as little. Like I say, you can do it with just one. You can do it with just a kind of Philadelphia cheese if you wanted. It would work kind of well. 
add any pasta to that. Works well with anything. Spaghetti, fusilli, you know, linguine, tagliatelle, all of them. It's going to be beautiful. As you know, I'm going to put some gnocchi into this today. That's it. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon. Lots of love.